Richard Beaupre, welcome to more action from day six at the ice hockey competition at the 1994 Winter Olympics. Canada playing from left to right, and the USA playing from right to left. Bopes is on my right, and we're all set to go here. My left elbow is well sharpened up as we've been battling each other about who's going to win this game, Paul. It's going to be a great one. There's a large crowd cheering for both sides. Always a great atmosphere when these two teams go at it. Hirsch, the goaltender, gets the first touch and hangs on. At the other end of the rink, Garth Snow is there, and that's a surprise selection for the Americans. A lot of people thought that uh, Michael Dunham would get the starting nod. Tim Taylor was impressed with the way that Garth Snow played against the Slovakians. A 3-3 draw in that game. He has 30 saves. Please the coach, but Taylor says he gets a bit nervous about the way Snow tends to overhandle the puck at times. Against the Canadians, Snow was 4-1 with a 3.09 goals against average in the pre-Olympic tour. Marchant from the faceoff saw that tipped away. Savage. Marchant chases and the Canadians work it up quickly. A little tip goes high and we'll have another faceoff. The Canadians with a fast squad. The Americans with a fast squad. Both teams with good goaltenders, some strong defense. This should be evenly matched. Coach Tom Rennie has put together a good squad, as has Tim Taylor for the Americans. So as we said, this should be fairly evenly matched. Johnson from the faceoff, working against Marchant. Grabbed and Martin brings it back and throws it to the far side. The Americans settle down in their own zone. Martin backhands it off the boards. And that comes out to Corey Hirsch. Tapped in the corner, almost a giveaway, but Brad Slagle grabs it. Coming up quickly now, Schreiber. Schreiber puts it out front. Loose puck is there, and the net is off its moorings. The Canadians are saying that was done deliberately. Well, let's take a look at this again. Snow goes for a little skate. The Canadians... Working in quickly was Schreiber. Wally Schreiber on the attack. The puck goes off a of skate. Snow is way inside his goal. The net has come off its moorings. The linesman in position. The referee sees it. A save is made by Snow. The net is gone. The whistle eventually blows. Snow knows that if he leans against that post or against the back of the net, it's going to go. Parks in there now, Lushko on the wing, and the Canadians with Joseph on the other wing. Snow comes out, and that's as far as the hash marks. Varenka tries to keep it in. Slowed down by Richter. And the Americans start out quickly. Parks up on the wing, some poor checking. Richter tips it in, and that bounces beside the goal, and the Canadians net is dislodged now. The goaltenders do not like this at all. Jeff Lazaro involved in front of the Canadian net. Lazaro going to the penalty box. The action is going right at the Canadian goal. The puck comes off the backboards. Lazaro fighting for position, a little bit too aggressive as far as the official is concerned. Cross-checking the call, the Canadians will have a power play. An aggressive start for both teams. Face-off is just outside the blue line. La Violette goes deep. A little tip into neutralized territory and the Canadians shoot it right back in with Johnson getting a piece of it. La Violette muscling in the corner, still can't get it out. Big shot coming in from Astley. Tipped all the way around to the hash marks. Marchant tries to apply a little pressure and the Canadians with Parks tries to get it out front. That didn't work. A little crossover there as Johnson moved in. Big shot again. 
Astley got a piece of that and he can let him fly from 60 feet out. The Americans changing. They want fresh troops out. A minute and 18 seconds left on the penalty to Lazaro. Terrian dropped that one off. And the Canadians trying to get fresh troops out there too. A bobbling puck goes all the way down. Martin goes back for it. A little tip pass up to the blue and the Americans will kill this one. Hendrickson doing some forechecking. 50 seconds now on the power play as the Canadians struggle to get it into the American zone and set it up. Warenka over to Mayer, back to Warenka. Warenka, a nice little pass up on the wing. Norris is coming up. Schreiber is there and he falls and the Canadians are in trouble. Three Americans breaking up quickly. Sacco with 29 seconds delivers that all the way down the ice. And Meyer is there to pick it up. The Canadians again with that quick change. Parks drills it off the backboards. Waugh is there, but he can't handle it. Schreiber along the boards, and the Canadians with Meyer keeping it in nicely. Four seconds on the power play. Howard doing a great job of roughing it up along the boards. The Canadians with the Americans back at full strength. Move in, big shot. Schreiber now all alone on the far side, directs it along the boards. Canada still applying the pressure, Snow still kicking it out. A little tip and that sends it over to Blue. Marenka gets back with Lazaro putting on some pressure at the blue line. America now going in quickly, Hirsch is there, Lazaro had it lost in his skate. Bofe took the original shot. The Americans coming to life after Lazaro came out of the penalty box. And the Americans trying to get it out of their own zone with some physical stuff from both teams in the first three minutes. Crawley slows it down. The Americans complete their line change. Back on the attack is 14, Johnson. But Johnson on each team out there as Schlegel has problems in the corner. Schlegel drops it in and gets the return pass from Norris. Schlegel, a little flip up is too far for everyone on the Canadian team and that's thrown right back into the zone. Canada right in front of Hirsch get that right up the middle the pass over the red line, red line rather and the Americans getting in strong with Savage doing the damage. Norris goes in backhander upstairs! The Canadians strike first Brian Savage doing a good job of keeping the puck in at the blue line. Dwayne Norris, all by himself, lays the backhander nicely upstairs for goal number one. The Americans unable to clear as Savage, with a good heads up play, sees Norris going to the net. Goes forehand to backhand. Garth Snow is beaten and Canada are on the scoreboard. Fifteen, fifteen, gone on the period. Johnson, the return pass. The Canadians hanging on to that one goal lead. Thirty-nine seconds on the power play for Canada. Starting it up quickly. Warenka loses control and doubles back. Warenka backhands it to the far side. The Canadians a lot of space in the neutral zone. Contos, Contos, Nedved, Contos slams on the brakes. Contos back to Nedved. Korea right in front, calling for it, goes into the corner and picks it up himself. Korea with a lot of talent, a great future. Taken off the puck, but not for long. Pontos gets it over. Pontos the shot. And Nedved calling for it deep on the side and gets it at the hash marks. Two seconds on the power play. Nedved doubles back. Warenka wants it. Warenka lets the shot go. And that went off the end of the stick. Pontos is right there. Korea trying to set it up. Korea. Really knows how to motor out of the corner. Laviolette blocked the shot. The Americans are back at full strength. Crowley tries to move it along the boards. And the Americans slow it down and get their act together. Lazaro throws it over to the far side. Lilly goes after it. Warenka picks it up. Canada 
with the majority of play out there. Go back on the defensive. Roberts lets the shot go, and that goes high. And the Canadians do a great job of getting in front of that puck. Dave Roberts very quick and not afraid to get the shot off. Came up in the one-on-one -on -one and just tried to let it go. Roberts, who's from quite a hockey background, his father, Doug Roberts, was an NHLer for a number of years. Faceoff almost at the top of the circle in the Canadian zone. 16.43 gone. This has been a fast period. Parks gets it back. Mayer is there for Canada. Hirsch really hasn't been tested in the Canadian goal. Parks throws it on to the D. Meyer gets it to the far side. Canada hit the blue line, throw it in. Parks is there with Joseph. Joseph wants it, but Campbell is in the way. Campbell poking at it. Campbell eventually gets the stick on it and sends it all the way out to the blue line. Joseph with time to shoot, lets it go. And now the Americans break quickly. Coming up, Roberts gets it through. Roberts looking for the puck and Hendrickson didn't really know where he was. And now the Canadians are going to be making their way to the penalty box, hooking the call. Once again, the transition game, defense to offense. Both of these teams are fast. It'll go end to end in no time at all. Roberts quickly moving the puck forward. 25 is Jim Campbell. He's all tied up by Harlock, who will go to the box for hooking. A little over two and a half minutes remaining on the period. The Canadians 11 for 12 on their penalty killing. Shot right on goal and Schreiber backhands that down the ice. Laviolette coming back first. Laviolette. A long pass over to the far wing. The Americans ice the puck. Well, what can you say about that? You got to wait until you hit the red line at least before you shoot it in. That's basic hockey. That's one of the first rules you learn when you're out there. I got a book. I can lend this guy. In the NHL, you get away with that. Not over here. Well, Todd Marchant's brain has to catch up with his legs once in a while. We know he can skate like the wind. Needed to take one more stride before throwing that puck into the zone. Johnson gets it back. The shot dribbles into the slot area. The other Johnson picks it up. Marchant along the boards. And the Canadians rattle that off the woodwork and send it down the ice. Beaufay, 120 on the power play. Norris is out there now for Canada. Laviolette taps it along the boards. Hirsch can't control it. Another whistle on the plate. And the whistle is for offside. All sorts of problems with the Americans. Icing offside and it's their power plate. Americans look a little nervous. They're not settled out there. They really have seen enough of this Canadian team. The Americans and the Canadians being neighbors play each other loads of times before an Olympic tournament. They know each other well, but it's not so easily said. It's easier said than done, rather. There's a large crowd, and there's been a lot of press about the buildup for this game. Drury, one minute now, flips it off. And the Americans come on the attack. Four players hitting the line. Chiavaglia. Chiavaglia being cornered and brought down. Joseph is there doing some good work. That comes over nicely for Sacco. Pops in at the corner and the Americans now set it up yet again. Big shot. Hirsch right on the pads. Well out of his neck to smother that. You were a goalie, Paul. You know that those are the shots that are hard for a goalie to handle. You've got to squeeze the legs together and really try and contain the puck. That's not an easy one for a goalie. Five saves so far in the match for Corey Hirsch. Hirsch spent some time in the NHL with the New York Rangers. 
He was the American Hockey League Player of the Year last year. And he hopes to get back with the Rangers sooner rather than later. Bobbling puck, Warenka. That's tipped off the stick by Rolston, and the Americans start to throw it around there. A little tip behind the red line. Still nothing serious happening out front. Big hit by Warenka on Chiavaglia. Oh, charging the call. Once again, the referee doing exactly what he's been instructed to do throughout the world. The officials have been told to clamp down on any hitting from behind, especially when it's near the boards. Drury's taken out of the play. There's no problem with that one. Ashley's got Drury, but Chiavaglia comes in and Waranko lets him bite the puck boards. Big finish to this first period. The Canadians with 57 seconds on the clock are down two men. The Americans with a five on three situation. Chiavaglia stays out in the face-off circle. Bofe tries to get it back. Chiavaglia does with the skate. Roberts passes it over. Big shot comes in. Hirsch goes down. Loose puck is there right in front. All the way back. The spin around doesn't come. Popped into the corner and the Americans unable to contain that bouncing puck and the Canadians get it out. One man now in the penalty box. A handful of seconds on the clock here. Bofe trying to feed it through. That bubbles back, and the Americans are making a meal of this. Rolston goes to the far side with Roberts. Still not out of the zone. Drury calling for it. All the way back into the top corner. Back to the hash marks. Rolston wants it at the high slot. Sacco is there. Rolston. Sacco tried to glove it down. Five seconds now. Rolston in the far side. They can't get the shot away. Hirsch sees that Chivagli is right in the crease. The loose puck is there, and there goes the buzzer. What a finish to this first period. Hirsch was up and down like a yo-yo in the crease. Chiavaglia was camped out. Sacco was out in the high slot, and they couldn't get the quality shot on goal. The shot finally coming to the net. chiavaglia has got it. He's made the play. that even went down on one knee to try and control the puck. He gets his stick on it but he's not able to control it or direct it into the net, and the Americans come up empty-handed. Look at this again. Ralston sets it up. Chivagli is there. Bofe is moving right in front. How did he miss that? One to nil, the Canadians leading, two periods to come. Welcome back to action in the second period. The Canadians leading the Americans, one to nil. The Canadians still have a penalty. Brad Warenka is in there. Put them back on the ice in a minute and three seconds gone in the second period, unless the Americans score before that. The Americans came so close to scoring with that man there, number 12, Chiavaglia. Camped out in the crease. He got a touch, but just couldn't put it over the line. 45 seconds to go now on the power play. The Americans playing from left to right. Pump it into the zone. Hirsch goes out to get the touch. Goes all the way around to Greg Johnson. Johnson muscles along the boards. Ralston is there with Chiavaglia. And the Canadians running a little interference. Get as far as the hash marks. Shagel, Snagel rather, gets it out. And Snow comes way out of his net. Thinks twice and... Drops it back just a few seconds now. Ralston. His power play has almost been killed off. Ralston gets it over on the left wing. Going in quickly is Loveson. Along the boards. Canada back as far as the blue. Roberts fell down. Got the pass over. One second on the power play. Right in front. Open net. Ralston puts his hands in the air. The side of the net was wide open. A large contingent of American supporters loving it. The Americans have leveled it early in the second period. The Americans setting it up, taking their time, showing the patience that they should. 
They've rushed things up until this point. Rolston with an open net. Gets the Americans on the board. Roberts looking for the pass. He goes into the slot. Behind Drury, but on the stick of Rolston, and he makes no mistake. Paul, you were just about to announce the fact that Warenka had come out of the box and you were yelling score. Warenka's penalty was three seconds over when the Americans struck. The score is all level now as Marchand drives that to the far side. The Americans now coming up quickly again. The shot coming right in. And Marchant fell, had trouble getting any power on the shot. Contos gets it back. Korea's right in front. Nedved went in quickly on Crowley, and the Americans get it out of the zone. Go back, going back deep is Harlock. Nedved rattles that off the boards. Johnson goes after his man. Contos doing a little checking out there too. Ferraro drops it back, big shot, Hirsch is out of his net. And the Canadians now on a quick break. And Nedved just couldn't control it. Pontos drops it back to Korea, the shot is there, the loose puck. Snow golfs it away, but it's not out of the zone. The Canadians continue to work with it in the corner. Pontos lets that ride, Korea, Nedved are there. Nedved, big penalty coming up. High sticking is the call. Johansson was right there. The Americans taking a few silly penalties in the first period. This one isn't long going in the second, and it's a Canadian's turn. Lovesen a little bit too aggressive as Nedved was trying to walk away with the puck. Big high stick on Christopher Imes for Lovesen, and that'll cost him two. 2.11 the time of the high sticking penalty. And we're going to see another power play from the Americans. That man Ralston goes out on the wing. Roberts back on the D, throws it up onto the far side. And the Canadians get it all the way down the ice. A hard hitting, close checking game here in the second period is all tied up at one apiece. A long pass by Ralston goes all the way down. The Canadians want an icing call. And it's waved off by the officials. Thrown right back in again. Schlegel trying to get around to it. And eventually Norris takes up a high position on the box. Schlegel going after it, right in front. Drury was right there and just couldn't drive it home. The Americans dropping it down low and looking for Drury coming into the play. The last time, the pass coming from the off slot. Ralston hits the brakes at the blue and the Canadians with Johnson getting a tip. Johnson up there with Astley on the near side. It's Schreiber who wanted to get the shot away and a whistle blows as Roberts goes deep. Both teams very capable of scoring short-handed goals. Schreiber had ideas. He was on the outside to get the head of the play. The Americans know they'll have to mix it up. Both of these teams, as I said before, are very quick. So one look at one power play, and each team will have to make adjustments. Greg Johnson goes into the face-off circle, and the Canadians win that one again. Still trying to kill off this penalty and still doing a great job. LaViolette will pick this up. LaViolette breaks to the left, comes up center now. 54 seconds on the power play. LaViolette will take it deep. Meyer stays with him. That comes over nicely. Marchand is there, drops it back. Ferraro, Ferraro doubling back onto the blue line. LaViolette calling for it, but that's pushed into the corner to Marchand. Marchand throwing it back, and the Americans set it up nicely. Marchand back onto the red line. LaViolette wants it back of the blue. Marchand lets the shot go. And 14, Johnson was waiting for it. Almost got the tip and it was deflected behind the goal. LaViolette, Marchant, and that bobbles. And the race is on now. Johnson, who's a fast skater, Bofe brings it back over the blue. That could have been dangerous. The Canadians shoot it right up. The Americans bring it right back. Four Americans hitting the line. Big shot comes in. LaViolette was right there to pick it up. Hendrickson. Let it fly, and the net comes off its moorings. And the Americans looking so dangerous on the power play. The talk between the period seems to have done something to the Americans. They've settled down a little bit. They look a little more relaxed than they did in the first 20 minutes of play.
excellent crowd here in Lillehammer. Hacken Hall, which seats 10,500, is almost full. Four seconds on the Canadian penalty. And the Canadians successfully kill off another one. Back to full strength. Schlegel goes one way. The Canadians go the other way. Astley tips it up. Canada back on attack. Lubson. Lubson working in from a sharp angle. Lubson trying to get it out front. Takes a heavy hit in the plexi. Lubson stays with it. Some good stuff from the Americans with Brett Hauer applying a lot of muscle. The shot comes in. Parks was moving right in front. It didn't come his way. Backhanded into the corner. Lushko and Parks working on the far side. Lushko got a tip. The Americans pick it up now. Coming quickly is Lilly. Lilly along the boards. Taken away from him. Lilly again. Still with Lilly. Working on the right side. Tries to tap it through and he does, but the Canadians get back in numbers. Lilly again. All the way back to the blue, and now the Americans are going through a good spell when they're throwing the puck around with ease out there. Astley gets it out as far as the blue line, and the Canadians and Americans go for a change. Johnson races down the ice. Sacco was an onlooker. Korea steps on to the Canadian lineup. Ralston goes after his man, and Warenka backhands it down the ice. No whistle on the play as both teams complete their change of lineups. Richter, right in front of his net, takes a big hit. Almost pushed into the goal post. And a break now for Campbell. Campbell taken off the play. Warinka came up with a big one for the Canadians. A little pass forward. Waugh is there. Waugh, big shot and big save by Snow. And the goal is knocked off its moorings yet again. Warner going in for the rebound. Got a piece of the net. No, lucky to get a piece of the puck. Wall let a good quick wrist shot go. Number 25, Wall on the outside. Johnny Wall lets it go on his off wing. Snow barely getting a touch. Warner continuing on into the goal. Well, they shot the puck at Snow, and then they skated right over top of him, and then they hit him with their sticks. There's nothing left, is there? That's what goalies are built for. <laughs> That's why they become goalies, because they like it. The Canadians again, back on the attack. Warner throws it up, and that goes the distance. Icing is the call. Both teams trying to spread it out a little bit, going for the longer passes. Canadians that time pushing the puck forward, icing the call. The faceoff will come back down to the side of Corey Hirsch. And speaking of Corey Hirsch, as we are, we understand that when he's through playing hockey, and we hope it won't be for a long time, he wants to become a play-by-play -play commentator. Why not? Well, we understand that John Davison, the next goalie, is a commentator. What is it with you goalies anyways? Isn't there anything else in life for you? You get battered around and then you try and go on in your life talking about it. Well, we know one guy in Philadelphia, Gene Hart, has really gone beyond the limits of commentating. He's the voice of the Philadelphia Flyers. And he's recently performed in his debut at the age of 62, I should add, in the role of Frosch, a drunken jailer in Strauss's guy, Flaudumaus, the opera. And uh, when asked about it, he said, it leaves only ballet for my artistic hat trick. And next summer, you guess it, he's going to play a mime role as an evil ogre in the Russian ballet, The Firebird. So there's opera, there's ballet, and there's no way you get me in those tights. <laughs> I've seen you in tights, Paul. It's not a pretty scene. <laughs> Good luck to Mr. Hart, because you'll never be able to fill Kate Smith's shoes, who used to sing God Bless America at the Spectrum. The whole building would be on their feet waiting for that one. He probably wears the tights to sing the offer, but I'm going to leave it there. Face off just outside the American zone as this game heats up. 1-1 one, one the score. Norris getting the goal for the Canadians. Ralston at the end of the power play for the Americans. Still nothing in it between these two teams as Imes moves up on the right side. Imes a little chip into the corner. Marchant went after Warenka. Icing was the call, and that was close indeed, but the officials right down on the ice a lot closer than we are. 
Nancy Kerrigan, tip for gold. And the figure skating is looking relaxed and as pretty as ever. Another man up there, or another person up there. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Ivan Linka, the coach and former hockey player checking out the Americans and the Canadians. He knows that he may be called on to play these teams. Ferraro takes the shot. Rebound right in front. Ferraro again, fans on the second shot and the Canadians get it out of the zone. Schreiber unable to contain it. Crowley tips it along. Seven minutes now gone. Ferraro again spins around and takes the shot as he falls away. Good stuff from Ferraro. The Canadians now breaking quickly. Schreiber taken off the puck and Ferraro right back into it. Johnson. Canada doing a great job of checking in the neutral zone. Marchand gets it and just flips it to the far wing. Lovson throws it across to the near side. Warenka is working with Raw and Warenka taps it off and the Canadians and the Americans get fresh legs. Brett Hauer. Hauer. Good little move on Nedved. Good pass up the middle is just a bit too long. Drury was breaking like a runaway train. And he throws the puck up in disgust. That was a close call just ahead of the center red line with Drury. Sacco not far behind asking all of his teammates along the bench, were we really offsides or not? He can't believe it. And just about anyone who's linked with the hockey program here in the Olympics is here. As we said, the Czech coach Ivan Linka is there. Uh, we know the Norwegian coach, French coach. Speaking of characters in the crowd, George Steinbrenner, owner of the New York Yankees, was reportedly seen in the crowd cheering on the American team in their game against Slovakia, ringing a cowbell. I don't know if he's over here looking to buy a rink, buy a team, buy a player. It's hard to say with Mr. Steinbrenner. Puck bouncing behind the goal. The Americans starting to apply a little pressure. That bobbles in the corner. Big hit. Lilly was putting up the muscle. Holding the call. While everyone was fighting for the puck. We had two romancing and dancing in the corner. Holding is the call. Tom Rennie looking on. Not totally impressed. But not showing a lot of emotion. For the second time in this game, Harlock will make his way into the box. Tom Rennie has been to the Victor Tikhanov School of Facial Expressions. The course only lasts about three seconds, and there's just one facial expression, and that's Stone Face. He doesn't give much away. Another power play for the Americans, one for 18 in the tournament. Canadians with an excellent penalty killing percentage, 14 out of 15, they've killed off. Roberts tips it over onto the wing. Ralston tips it back. Roberts tees it off the shot, right in front. Chiavagli takes a big hit from behind. And we have another penalty coming. Oh, the Canadians are getting silly out there. Canadians having a word, it isn't going to matter. The referee was on the other side of the ice, but he didn't like the way that Parks hit Giovaglia from behind. Parks having a few words, but it isn't going to help his cause. The Canadians are going to be short-handed with two men in the box for quite a spell here. Parks going toward the goal as the shot does. Giovaglia looking to get a piece of the rebound. Parks takes him out from behind. It'll be a five on three now in favor of the U.S. Harlock and Parks. 8.25, the time of the cross-checking penalty. Big face-off in the Canadian zone, and the Americans win it. Roberts has a lot of time. Slides it in at the corner, Ralston. Gets it back to Roberts. Roberts throws it over to the far side to the top of the circle. Chiavaglia moves in there and the Canadians come up with it. Norris 
takes his time to add insult to injury and throws it down. Sacco, a long pass up on the wing. Ralston is there. Ralston, the goal scorer, drops it back to Chivaglia. Chivaglia moves in a position all the way back to the blue. And the Americans throw the puck around but still don't get in a position. The Canadians set up the triangle. A bouncing puck goes away. And Joseph is dropped. Play continues. Roberts brings it up to the blue line. The Americans now move in close. A chance to shoot. Hirsch makes a save. And Ralston bats it down. Bofe let it fly from about 20 feet away. Again from right in close. Chiavaglia wasn't there. The bouncing puck went by the open net. And Chiavaglia just couldn't get a handle on it. Big shot coming in. Bofe and Rolston takes a hit high up. Joseph goes after his man. Bofe tips it along the boards, and the Americans continue to apply the pressure. Meyer on the Canadian defense doing a good job of blocking shots. Not this one, though. Rolston again was perfectly positioned. Big goal number two for the Americans. This time it's a power play goal. The words have just come out of my mouth, Paul, that number four... Derek Meyer was doing an excellent job of blocking shots. He was playing the body well. Couldn't get his stick in the way. The passing lane was open. Rolston camped out in the slot. The pass is there off the stick of Bofe. Rolston sends it home for his second goal of the game. The second round draft pick of the New Jersey Devils in 91 makes it 2-1 to one for the Americans. 9.50. Gone on the period, an excellent period for the Americans. 28 seconds on the penalty to Parks. Canada with Lubson going into the corner trying to take the puck away. The Americans right now were all over the Canadians. Bofe taps it along the boards. Lubson is there. Ferraro ties him up. Back to the blue line. Laviolette wants it. The puck goes right in front. The shot comes from Hendrickson and that bobbles away. Bofe moves into the circle. Laviolette. Got the, or was about to get the pass, and then the pass was directed into the corner to Marchant, and it went over the boards, and a great spell here, Bopes, from the Americans. Penalties taking their toll on the Canadians. Again, as Rolston buries his second goal of the game, that being on the power play, the first American goal coming just after the Canadians had survived the penalty kill situation. Himes got the shot in. Another shot comes in from Hendrickson, and the Canadians are back at full strength. Norris spinning around on the blue, looking for the puck. Astley gets it to the far side, and Schlegel taps it up on the boards. The Canadians now have a chance to start forward. Savage couldn't contain it. Savage right in neutralized territory. Takes a swipe. And Imes pops it to the far side. Chiavaglia got it forward. And the Canadians get back in numbers as Schlegel picks it up. Bounces, or Astley rather, bounces it off the boards for Schlegel. And it comes up on the side for Norris. Canada looking to get something going. Warner working with Norris and Savage out there. This line looked good in the first period, but really hasn't had a chance to do anything in this period. Hendrickson shoots it down the ice. Warner back again. Big shot right on Snow when he comes out. Savage was cruising in. Norris was not far behind him. Start Snow had 11 shots coming at him in the first period. In the second, it's been pretty quiet at his end of the ice. Canadians finally get something going at him. Snow down, gets his body in front of the puck and jumps on it with his big catching glove creating a face-off in American territory. He's only had three shots on net in this second period. Excellent confrontation here between two of the top teams in the competition. Two to one, the Americans leading after two second period goals. Korea goes in, upsets his man. Nedved takes his man out along the boards. Meyer moves up tight, and that goes over the plexi. We'll have another face-off. 
American defenseman trying to work it off the plexiglass. Two forwards were stacked up along the boards. Lazaro outside the blue line. Lilly just inside the blue line. Neither one of them to get to the puck as it went over the plexiglass. Peter Nedved, the Czech who now holds a Canadian passport, played for the Vancouver Canucks, had a contract dispute and said, I'm going to go play for my country. And here he is. Wearing 93 because that happened to be the year that his papers came through. And his password was passport rather was delivered to his doorstep. Howard takes a big hit by Meyer. Thrown around by Harlock. And the Americans with a chance now. Shot from a sharp angle. And Hirsch held on to the post. Meyer takes a big hit but gets rid of the puck. Nedved starts it up. Nedved, Korea. Korea right in front. Nedved is there. And Contos. And we're going to have a penalty shot. A thrown stick on the plate. And whenever there's a thrown stick, there's a penalty shot. Taylor looks on. A quick decision from Johansson. No hesitation at all. I like that. The first penalty shot in the Olympics. Let's look at this again. Maria coming in at the goal. Slides the puck across. Garth Snow's stick comes flying out of nowhere. The referee in the opposite corner very quickly making the call. Judge it for yourself. You know, a goaltender will tape a fairly big knob on the end of a stick so that doesn't happen sometimes his thumb and his fingers are joined with a thick piece of leather so it can slide in and out but not come off the end but on that occasion it did look like he intentionally threw it nevertheless here comes Nedved he has a free shot a goal but he doesn't have a rebound so went down Nedved salutes it's level once again, we see the move that goaltenders hate. The cheeky little shift and the puck going between the legs. At some point on a breakaway, the goalie does have to commit himself. Snow electing not to stack the pads. Forehand to backhand. Snow goes across with Nedved. The puck actually just getting around. Goaltender Gar Snow. The legs were wide open but the puck going just to the outside of the skate. Twelve oh nine, the time of the goal by Nedved and Snow. We'll want to explain that one to Tim Taylor a little later on, I'm sure. Marchant shoots it in. The Americans really were going well. And Marchant almost put that one by Hurst. Ferraro now in the corner for the Americans. Will that take the steam out of their attack? I doubt it very much. These guys are really pumped up, as are the Canadians. Waugh goes in against Ferraro. Schreiber now for Canada. Schreiber, who's played a lot of hockey in Europe, drills it off the boards, and that goes all the way down the ice. Schreiber currently playing hockey in Munich, a teammate of Dieter Hagen, the star for the German Olympic team. You take a look at this again, the fake on the forehand. I thought for a moment the snow had stayed with him. Excellent move by Nedved. Face off deep in Canadian territory. And the shot took a deflection, bounces right down. Hurst is equal to it. Good clearance, but he can only get it to Imes. Imes taps it in. And the Americans start to throw it around nicely. Himes thought about racing in there and gets back on his defensive position. 13 minutes gone. A backhander sends it along the boards. And the Canadians with Astley muscling at the red line. 2-2 the score. Himes is checked out of the play. And Lusko brings it over. But there was a man trapped on the wrong side of the blue line. If you're watching for the first time, then thank you for turning in or tuning on to ice hockey we have a lot of people listening in Scandinavia in Eastern Europe that's for sure we know that in Hungary and various other countries over there they just love to watch hockey and we hope you're enjoying this one long shot and that deflected way up and we'll have another face-off 
We also gave a mention earlier, Paul, we'll do it one more time because this is a big game. We're sure a lot of people at home are watching this one. The staff at Princess Margaret Hospital in Windsor seem to be enjoying the game so far. Keep watching, guys. And we know there's a pathologist. This guy's sick. He loves this game. <laughs> and a couple of friends up in Durham. A couple of hockey players for the Wasps there are wondering how they're going to sleep. They're watching hockey 24 hours a day. A long clearance out of the zone, and the Canadians have it deep in their own territory. Waugh fed it off. Johnson, power going, waiting for that pass that didn't come. Savage loses out, and the Canadians go on the D now as the Americans set it up. Lilly fed it through. Lazaro tries to make something happen. Astley couldn't pin that down along the boards, and the Canadians can only get it as far as the blue line. A bouncing puck comes to the near side. Joseph takes a hit. Astley and Schlegel working well. Astley, Astley trying to drag it round. Some good stuff from Richter. Richter stayed with him. Ferraro. And Drury trying to get it out of the zone and the Swedish referee Johansson put an end to all that. Another penalty once again. Tim Taylor doesn't look overly impressed. The Americans look like they were off and running, clearing the zone. But it's not to be. Play tough around the back of the net. Richter taking his man out. The action continues. Sacco in there with a quick hit from behind. Brett Hauer, the man guilty of the cross check away from the play, and the Americans are shorthanded. 2 2 the score here in the second period. And the Canadians now with that man advantage. Mayer starts it up on the right side. The big Canadian strides up to the blue. Long pass intended for Korea. No whistle on the play. And the goaltender fanned on the clearance. Crawley is there. And Crawley didn't take a swipe at it. That was left behind the net. And eventually the pass comes all the way out to Meyer. Back to Korea. Back to Meyer. Meyer's got time to shoot, and he does. Snow is there. Hendrickson this time gets it out. And Meyer at the red line taps it up. Korea throws it right back. The Canadians with a couple of opportunities. The Americans unable to get it out of the zone. Meyer feeds it up. A two-line pass as Contos and Nedved broke quickly. Contos, Nedved and Korea trying to get something going. 2-2 Two -two the score. The Canadians with a man advantage as Howard's in the box for cross-checking. Change of lines for the Canadians here. Lilly goes in to take the draw and the Canadians with Warenka taking it deep. Less than five minutes on the period. Parks. A little tip up on the wing. Parks moving quickly. Thrown over to the far side. Wah got a touch on that, but uh, the Americans get it out just as quickly as the Canadians get it back in. A long pass goes astray. Lilly thinks twice about going deep. 40 seconds on the power play. Parks again wants the puck. Warenka eventually gets it to him. A long pass. Wah. Taps it down with his skate. This guy's got the good wrist shot. Wall is forced into the corner, forced off the puck. Parks gets it all the way back. Will rank it to the far side. The Canadians with a chance to shoot. A bobbling puck. Schreiber was right there. Warner, rather, was right there, and it didn't come out. Wall wants it on the red line. Pushed away from him. Still with Wall. He gulps it in behind the goal. Schreiber. Parks. Opportunity to shoot, and... Snow comes up with it. One second on the power play. Power steps back on the ice. Warenka for Canada. Whistles it right up to the red line. The Canadians back on the attack. The Americans going on the defensive with Richter going after Norris. Norris bobbing and weaving in the corner. 
Norris again throws it to the far side. Bofe gets a touch, but it doesn't slow it down. The Canadians moving up quickly. Savage to Norris. Norris on the hash line. Back to Savage. Savage perhaps a rough run right out front. And a break now for Rolston. Rolston loses control. And uh, this Canadian Schlegel gets back. It's up on the wing to Savage. That goes the distance. Three minutes and three seconds on the period. And for a moment there, it looked like Norris and Warner were going to turn the Americans inside out. Both of these teams capable of making this ice surface look small. End-to-end -end action, and it goes in a hurry. Savage was working well with the two Canadians also. Sacco lines up against Nedved. Nedved pokes at it. Ooh, that hit the side. And Meyer eventually came to pick it up. Meyer pushes that along the boards, and the Canadians start to motor. Canada coming back on the attack. Nedved moving in quickly with Korea. Korea right in front of the net. Sacco gently taps it off the boards. A good move from him. And going back is Harlock. Quickly on Drury. Nedved takes a swipe of it. Look at the number of Canadians surrounding that goal. Hauer comes in quickly to get it out of harm's way. Nedved circles back. Some great back checking. Nedved got the pass up to Contos. He couldn't control it. A chance now, and the Americans unable to capitalize. Roberts moved in quickly and got the pass through. Back on the attack. Korea flips it in. Nedved is unable to pick that up, and Korea back at center. Throws it back to their defense. The return pass comes up to Nedved. This guy can motor. Korea coming in on the left side. Contos was on the far side, and the offside whistle blows. Good shift by the Korea line once again. Hirsch going for a skate. The team's changing players. Action is continuing to go at tremendous pace. The shot earlier right off the faceoff. Sacco and Nedved involved. Sacco going close again as the pass came through from Drury. Two minutes now on the period. Marchant, a long clearance into the corner, bounces out for Ferraro. Ferraro has trouble with that. Goes back into the corner. The Canadians now bring it out. Canada with Warner. A rink-wide pass. Richards along the boards. Gets it out of the zone. A good bounce for the Americans, and they throw it up. A two-on-three situation. A bouncing puck with Ferraro getting in there. And Ferraro mixing it up and colliding with one of his own teammates. And here come the Canadians. Norris tries to feed it right through. Savage took a swipe at that, and Warner wants it too. No one can get a handle on it. Richards dropped it off. Ferraro shows a little too much of the puck. He collides with Savage, and Norris now has it. Norris and Warenko. Norris, Warenko. The shot goes upstairs and Snow got hold of that. Norris was right there. He had a couple of options and went for the shot. Marchin comes back on the attack for the Americans and just flips it over. 2-2 to the score. And just a handful of seconds now remaining on the period. Great save by Snow as Norris and Warenko put a couple of nice passes together. Once again, both teams will change. Shifts will get shorter. These guys are really going at it. Norris around the outside. Lorenko takes a look back to Norris. Warner's cruising in on the left. Norris takes the shot. Snow with a tremendous save for the Americans, keeping this game level at two. Nineteen thirteen, gone on the period, and the linesman sees something to smile about out there. The players certainly don't. Bofe moves in for the Americans. Lazaro reached for that. Schlegel picks it up. Schlegel off the off to the right side, and that goes through over the red line. Intercepted by Crawley, batted down, and the Canadians are saying, "Don't touch it," because it was batted forward by a glove hand. Bofe breaks down the left side, 29 seconds on the period. 2-2 the score. 
We have a great third period coming up, so if you're watching this, please stay with us. Waugh taps it up to Astley. Astley tried to feed it through to Greg Johnson, and again, the offside whistle blows. Another look at Astley, who's really done well on the D for Canada. An excellent puck handling defenseman. Sees a lot of action on the power plays. Mark Astley got a good shot from the blue line on that situation. Greg Johnson, number 12, just one of many of these guys with great legs going through a bit too quick. That bobbles away from Joseph, and the Canadians send their troops deep. Lubson, Joseph breaks on this side. We've got 10 seconds on the clock. Lubson will spin it around and spin it out. Four seconds as the little tip goes up to the right side. Lubson had problems with that, but nevertheless, the buzzer goes to and a very fast, very exciting second period. Rolston came out at 106 to level the score, and then Rolston did it again not long after that on a power play move. Nedved on the penalty shot made it 2-2. That's the way the period ends. A third and final period coming up. Stay with us. A lot more action to come on Eurosport. Welcome back to the third and final period. The Canadians two, the Americans two, and what a third and final period this is gonna be. An exciting game since the opening face-off. One or two controversial things. The Americans well offside, big shot coming in. Hirsch makes the save. And uh, we've seen a lot of penalties. We've seen a penalty shot, which Nedved scored on Snow. And now we have an injured player down on the ice. Probably down the towel and ice bag right on his face immediately. Taylor yelling for Laviolette to go and have a word with the referee. The American starting it out. Crowley taking a high stick from Greg Johnson. Crowley going down in a hurry. Laviolette trying to talk it over with the officials. We should explain that the Canadians have a Greg Johnson and the Americans have a Craig Johnson. Just in case you think we're saying that the same person plays for two teams. Crowley still getting some attention down there. And it must be serious for him to stay out on the ice, that's for sure. Doctor on the ice having a look at him. They're keeping his nose covered with the towel. They probably already counted the chicklets to make sure they're still there. <laughs> Take a look at that on the reverse angle. Ooh, nothing subtle about that. Crowley will go to the dressing room and get stitches if needed, and I'm sure he'll be back. He'll be back without a doubt. These guys are very accustomed to this. It's not that serious of an injury at ice hockey. A few stitches and a quick ice pack and you're back out there normally. Is it true you used to get stitched up before the game so you didn't miss any of the play? Oh, I used to save time and it, it meant that I could have a beer <laughs> with the guy. I could go with the, have a beer with the guys after the game and not be two or three behind. <laughs> get the stitches before the game. Why wait? Okay, we have a face off now just outside the Canadian zone. Well, we don't have a face-off. We're going to have a, a mop-up job out there. And I hate to say it, but that's not something he should be doing with a bare hand. Taylor looking a little concerned as we finally get down to this face-off. Ten seconds gone on the period. 2-2 the score. Wah! Tried to feed it right through and Snow shoots it right back up to the top of the circle. Shot away quickly by Johnson. 
That goes down the ice with Marchant looking for something loose. Neither Tom Rennie nor Tim Taylor give much away behind the bench. These guys very rarely get to the stage where they're puffing and panting. Cool customers, both of them, very experienced. They know what they want, and the boys are providing it for them right now. You couldn't be much closer. Norris and Nedved, Rolston, two goals. That's how the four were scored. The Americans now from the faceoff, right in front. Snow goes down, and that bounces away down the ice. Icing is the call. The Canadians very quick off the faceoff. The Americans will have to tighten it up a little on the draws, but icing is the proper thing to do when you're in that kind of trouble. Snow making the save. The Americans quick just to shoot the puck down the ice. Johnson on the faceoff. It works into a bit of a scrum. A couple players get involved right in front of the net. A close call as Schreiber is right there in front of Garth Snow. From the face off now, Korea let it go. Comes all the way back. Meyer takes a shot. And Snow got a piece of that at the last moment. Lazaro. Lazaro hits the red, fires it in at the corner, and the Canadians now go back on the defensive. Meyer golfs it away from uh, Lazaro, and eventually at the second attempt, the Canadians pick it up. Savage drops it back. Meyer floats it along behind the goal, and the Canadians with Norris now. Norris up on the wing. Canada with Norris again. This guy can motor. Norris falls into the corner. His legs just went away. Sacco brings it up slowly. Lazaro right up there, and that puck bobbled out. A good poke check, and back on the attack comes Norris. Norris, big shot, scores! Second goal of the game for Norris. A nice shot by Norris, but Garth Snow just wasn't quite set for that. Snow with a shake of the head in the net. Would like to have another crack at that one. The Canadians congratulating Norris, his second goal of this game, and it's a big one for Canada here in the third period. Savage is on the left, Norris on the right, lets it go. It's a good shot, and it beats Snow on the stick side. The Canadians in front, 3-2. Another quick goal. The Americans struck with one minute and six seconds gone in the second period. A chance now right in on goal. Roberts broke in quickly. And Norris comes back at 116. Bofe takes that off and chopped it along the board. Zimes couldn't hold it in. Lilly. Lilly breaks up center. Lilly with a burst of speed now. Stick handling nicely, trying to go through Astley. Another whistle on the plate. Lilly had all kinds of room coming up the ice. The Canadians had backed right off. Five red shirts stacking the blue line up, though, as the Americans got near the Canadian zone. Norris on the outside. Another look at the shot that he's just put behind Garth Snow. Three two now as this face off comes outside the Canadian blue line. One fifty gone in the third period. Marchant going up against Nedved along the boards. La Violette looking for Johnson. He finds him. That's tapped in. Warenka goes in quickly, gets a little touch. Marchant is on him, and the Canadians just tip it out to the blue line. The clearance is batted down, and Canada go back on the offensive. Nedved tries to feed it through. And the Canadians have to get out of the zone. To Richards, to Marchant. Nedved is in there, steals it from both of them, throws it behind the goal. And the Canadians now applying a little pressure. A loose puck along the boards in the corner, and Laviolette goes in to hold Nedved against the woodwork, and we have another faceoff. Change in tactics, the last line out for the Canadians backing off, letting the Americans come at them a little bit. This line not willing to do it. Nedved in Korea going right at the American defenseman, Todd Warner, involved as he was still on the ice. The 
Johnson all the way back and the Canadians shoot it in quickly. Brett Hauer for the Americans, slows it down, works it up on the right side, breaks up center and here comes Hauer. Hauer, nice pass up to the red line. Lazaro can't hang on to it, flips it up. Drury kind of taps it forward and Sacco couldn't grab it. Hauer has to go to the far side and Schreiber chases. A bouncing puck and the Americans throw it into the zone with Sacco going in in a hurry. Sacco still has the puck, throws it away from Schlegel and a chance for Schreiber. Schreiber backhands it into neutralized territory to take off the pressure. Lazaro moving up on the left side. Sacco tries to feed it through. Lazaro was there and he's pushed against the woodwork and the Canadians now starting up. Three players hitting the red as Astley gets it up to Johnson. Astley goes right through. Astley with a chance. And Howard stayed on him and Astley really couldn't spin around to get the shot away. Good move by the defenseman. Lazaro leaves it there for Richter. The shadow comes from Savage. Richter for the USA at the top of the circle. A little tap forward and that's broken down by the Canadians and but picked up somehow by Lilly. Right at the side of the net, Lilly moves in again. Meyer is there, Bofe bangs at it from the top of the slot. Another shot comes in and took a, re took a, a rebound away as Richter let it fly. The Canadians regain their composure, but the Americans throw it right back in as far as the blue line. Imes has to wait till his teammates get onside. Thrown over to Richter. Richter is hassled by Astley, and Astley for Canada throws it up. A little pass forward, big shot comes in. And that trickled off the inside of the stick. Savage got a piece of it, but really was unable to connect. A high flip, Snow gloves it down, Imes is there. Pass up on the left wing and the Americans bringing it up nicely. A chance for Ferraro, he takes the shot and Hirsch gloves it down and forces the face off. Peter Ferrero and Todd Martian coming off the bench quickly. Another quick look at the King of Norway who's enjoying the ice hockey. An excellent crowd as you can see here in Lillehammer. 4.45 gone in the third period. One goal in it. The Canadians leading 3-2. Parks breaks down the wing and gets the pass. Parks moving quickly. Lushko trailing behind him. That's thrown in. Snow is there. Hammers it off the plexi beyond Ferraro. And it bounces right back in. Richards is in there. The Canadians trying to get something going with Lushko. Lushko backhands it off the board. Throws it in the corner. Parks is there. Parks taken off the puck. Lushko picks it up. Joseph took a swing at it. And the Americans now coming up quickly. Campbell. Marchant. Marchant watches that as it goes off the puck. And Johnson threw it in. The Canadians with Lushko back on the attack. Lushko dumps it in the zone and goes for a quick change. Martin for America. Martin goes down. Martin still looking for that puck. There are four Americans within about two feet of each other. Schlegel way up from the blue line. Richter is there to provide the elbow. And Martin taps it forward. A little throw up and the Canadians pick it up on neutralized territory. And back comes Nedved. Nedved lets the shot go. The rebound is there. Some good stuff from the Canadians, and in particular, Nedved, who got the quick release away, but Snow came up big. Peter Nedved showing everybody how quick he can get the shots off. Good, quick wrist shot by Nedved right through the defense. Richter, who'd been on the ice for a long time, Standing Nedved up, but the shot going through to Garth Snow. Look at Nedved on the off wing. Richter standing him up right there, but the shot going past Richter. Snow had to come up big. Warner sniffing around for a rebound. Lazaro wants the puck as Lazaro breaks to the right. Good little poke check there. The Canadians break it up before it really gets started. Excellent stuff from Warenka. Drury peppers that in along the boards and the Canadians go back on the defensive with Raw tying up his man. Lazaro pushes it through and there's no one there for the American team to pick it up. 
Schreiber now for Canada. Head man's the puck, and the Canadians on the attack. The shot comes in from Loveson. That took the ricochet over to the far side. And Johnson now on the far side. Schreiber took a swipe at it. Canada moving in quickly with Snow coming out of his net to pop it in the corner. The Americans with Lazaro trying to get a touch on it. Throw it down the ice, and Meyer is there for Canada. Again, both teams changing on the fly. Schreiber has problems, falls down in neutralized territory. And Lilly moves in. Lilly with a great shot. Can he let it go? And he does. And that ends up in the near corner. LaViolette moved in to push it further. Here comes Lilly again. Lilly with Bofe. Lilly trying to do the wraparound. And Bofe was trailing all the way and couldn't get it to work. Norris for Canada. Norris has already scored two goals. Hangs onto the puck and drops it back as the Canadians complete their change out there. Three to two, the score. The Canadians still hanging on to that lead. A long pass up the middle. Korea right across. Savage is there. And Ferraro goes back on the attack for the Americans. A little chip on the wing, and the Americans throw it up over the blue line. Offside is the call as Ferraro was working up there with Marchant. Ferraro not aware of where Marchant was. He would like to probably let that pass go through. Elected to take it himself. Todd Marchant just a step ahead of him. That's a good sign for the Americans as Ted Crowley comes back to the bench. Bit of gauze stuck up in the end of his nose there. Took a shot earlier on a high stick. Accidental high stick, but Crowley's right back into the play. 7.35 gone on the period. Schlegel goes back with Astley. And Joseph cruises out front. A long flip goes all the way down the ice. Icing is the call as Imes goes back. Crowley back on the bench with a half visor on. I guess that's like closing the door after the or the gate after the horse is bolted, but uh, it'll make him feel a lot better, that's for sure, to have that protective visor covering half his face. Rolston, who's provided two goals already, is out there. Chiavaglia and Rolston. High sticks come up, and that's been a problem with this game. Lushko, way back, adjusts his headgear. Schlego, Parks. Parks drops it back. Parks moves in the corner as the puck follows. Martin pushes it away, and we have a penalty for holding on the play. Well, Johansson has not been busy in this period, but all of a sudden, he's called upon to whistle down a play, and Rolston sits for holding. Parks along the board. Rolston moving over to take him out. The referee calling holding. The stick was grabbed by Rolston. Face off deep in American territory with Rolston in the power play, or in the penalty box. The power play two for 16, and the Americans 14 for 15 at killing them off. Nedved was hit with his line back out on the ice for Canada. Marchant from the faceoff. That comes all the way back to the blue. And the Canadians, Johnson. Johnson backpedaling, gets it up to Nedved. Nedved circles, backhands it along the boards, and the Canadians with Contos. Back to Nedved. Nedved lets the shot go. And Richards got in front of it, whether he wanted to or not. Nedved whistles that into the corner. Contos is there. Korea's out front, and number 27, Hendrickson, got it but couldn't get it out. Meyer taps it in the corner. Contos is on this side, the shot right at the goalie. Nedved was circling too. As soon as the puck is on Korea's stick, it's on its way to somebody else. Korea directing the puck back very quickly. Snow saying thank you as it ended up right in his catching glove. Well, that's so nice to see American and Canadian flags, Swiss flags, and a whole lot more out there right next to each other. No problem at all. Everybody 
here is treating this like a carnival. Astley flips it away from Lazaro. Norris has it now. Norris elects to go to the corner to Parks. Back to Norris. Norris along the boards. Not a great move from him, but somehow picked up. And Parks is right in front. Deflected away. Savage on the far point. Point rather. Savage drops it back. Astley wants it back of the blue and gets it. A one-timer comes in. Big shot from Astley. Astley gets it along the board. Parks is there again. Parks working well with Norris and Astley. Astley throws it to the far side. Warenka takes the shot. And Snow goes down. Norris goes all over Snacko. Crowley gets a piece of it and clears it only as far as the blue line. The Canadians this time unable to keep it in. Yes, they do keep it in, but the whistle blows. <laughs> so close. Waranka like a stone wall on the blue line. Brad Waranka, number five, really holding the puck in on more than one occasion. These defensemen are just like goalies when they're pinning that puck against the boards. They do a great job of holding it in just when you think it's going to go out. Nine out of ten times, as soon as they get rid of the puck, they know they're going to get hit as well. 30 seconds now on the power plate. Long clearance up by Harlock. Meyer. Meyer takes it over, keeps going with it. Meyer moves into the corner. Meyer and Hauer collide. Hauer certainly is a tough customer for the Americans. He seems to come off best in these collisions in the corner. Eight seconds on the power play. Harlock, a long pass. That took a deflection off a Canadian stick, and the Canadians are called for icing. The Americans should get out of this shorthanded situation. Just seconds left on the penalty. Fresh troops coming out, and the faceoff will be in Canadian territory. The Americans haven't had a lot of offense going for them in this final 20 minutes of play. Lilly on the ice now. John Lilly's last shift, he was like a man possessed. They're out on a mission, bouncing off people, going for the net, getting a good shot off once or twice. Let's we'll see what he can do here. Midway point through the final period. 3-2 the score, the Canadians in the lead. Bofe for the Americans going up against Nedved. That bounces nicely for Contos. Schlegel, the Americans back at full strength. Schlegel's pass is up on the wing. A little flip in the corner right out front. Nedved was there, a bouncing puck. And the Americans come up with it. They're back at full strength. They need something now, and this is the man who may be able to do it. Ralston feeds it through. And the whistle blows. This could be the moment the Americans have been waiting for. The crowd reacting right at the blue line. Rolston feathering the pass through, trying to find Mark Bofe. Bofe is taken down. Well, in the referee's eyes, he was taken down anyways. And the Canadians are penalized. Nedved going to the box for hooking. Ten thirty-one, the time of the penalty, and so Ned Bed sits. The Americans go on the power play. Sacco, Sacco takes his time, and the shot fanned on by Roberts, and the Americans now breaking quickly, or the Canadians rather. Lushko took the big shot, and that bounces over. Sacco gets it out. One thirty-seven on the power play. Roberts got it over on the wing. The Americans now push it in front, back onto the corner, and Sacco again winds up, takes the shot, and Hirsch is there to clear it. And the big clearance from the Canadians goes all the way down the ice. 120 on the power play, and the Canadians come up with it in the corner. Joseph feeds it back, and Canada with Norris go for a skate. Norris has room to move. Sacco can't get him. Roberts can't get him. Ralston can't get him, and Norris is right there. So is Snow. Back on the attack, the Americans coming up to the blue. This is good end-to-end -end stuff here in the third period. Dropping it back to Sacco. Sacco throws it in. Lilly wants it on this side. Sacco moves up to the hash marks. No movement at all from the Americans. A long shot. Ralston has it now. Ralston being shadowed by Joseph. Ralston moves in, takes the shot, and Hirsch makes the save, and that's cleared down the ice. 
good save by Hirsch and a good job by the Canadians to clear it. LaViolette got the pass up from the goaltender, Snow. Snow was well out of his net. And the clearance goes down the ice yet again. A break for the Canadians. A chance going in. Johnson going in. Snow goes down. The loose puck is right there. Whoa, this guy loves this call. The indication is a penalty shot. Again, Snow Stick ended up in the corner. He's going to have to tie that to his hand. Let's take a look at this again. Greg Johnson behind the American defense going in on the goal. The chops are being provided. He's right in on top of Garth Snow. But it appeared that the stick left Snow's hand awful late. I don't know about this call. Well, is he calling the call on Marchant or on Snow? Marchant tripped him. The backhander goes in. And this time Snow comes up with a save. Who was the penalty on? Was it tripping on a breakaway? It really wasn't that clear of a breakaway. Or was it for Snow throwing the stick? The stick did end up in the corner. Well, it appeared to me that uh, Greg Johnson was clearly past the defenseman, or Marshawn, who was playing defenseman. A look at the penalty shot. Snow going with it well. Johnson stuffed on this one. There's the backhand attempt. Good save made by Garth Snow. Of course, he's not allowed to get that rebound. Commiserations for Johnson. And the Americans can breathe a little easier. 3-2 the score. It's still Canada in the lead. Boy, this game is not short of incidents, that's for sure. The puck dropped back into the American zone, and here they come. 12-19, gone, a chance to shoot. A little hooking on the play, and the whistle blows. The Americans down by a goal. We'll see if this penalty shot saved by Snow can inspire the American guys up front. They need to get one back to level here. Taylor again. Looking a little anxious, but uh, doesn't give a lot away behind those glasses. Looks at the clock. He knows he's got time. There's still a lot of time out there as Parks finally moves in against Marchant. Five seconds on the power play. Not much on the power play, but lots on the clock. LaViolette got the puck over, and the Americans peppered in the corner. The Canadians are back at full strength. Meyer against Ferraro. Ferraro takes the puck off him without a, any problem at all. Ferraro along the boards. It's taken from him. The shot comes in. Marchant got a piece of it. Parks backhands it out of the zone, and that goes down the ice. And there's a lot happening off the play out there. The Americans screaming for an interference call. Craig Johnson sent on a little trip as the Canadians cleared the zone. From the faceoff, the Canadians drag it behind the net. Norris on the right side picks it up, throws it in the center. Here come the Canadians. Savage breaking in the middle. Warner's there, the shot, and Snow makes the save. And now here come the Americans. Back on the attack. Three, four players hitting the blue line. Lazaro right in front, the shot. Lilly was there and just couldn't pick it up. Savage on the far side tried to bring it out, and the Americans with Lilly bring it right back in. Astley forced to go back deep. Schlegel behind the red line. A little lob out of the neutral, or out into the neutral zone. Takes the pressure off for a moment. Back on the attack. Lilly tees it up. Fans on a shot. But it's right out front. Lazaro was there and just couldn't connect. The puck is really bobbling here as the clock ticks down and the ice gets rugged. Norris right in front looking for Korea. That was taken out of the play and the Americans coming back. Korea grabs and holds. Sacco working up. And just couldn't get anything away. A long shot hit Warenka. Rolston got a piece of that, but so did Warenka. He felt that one. Whistle on the play for icing. And both teams very quick to counter in this third period. Both of these clubs have 
Good young players out there, and they're changing quickly. They're trying to open the game up a little. It's been good close contact, but both teams can move the puck so fast. These guys like to get the shots off from the outside. Both goalies have been tested, and they've been covering their angles nicely. Coming up to the 14-minute mark. Six minutes, two seconds remaining on the game. Still a lot of time in hockey terms, that's for sure. 3-2 the score. The Canadians hanging on to the lead. Sacco was playing a lot of this third period for the Americans as he gets set for the faceoff. Pontos skating around. Eventually asked to go into the faceoff circle. He gets it back like he's done it several times before. The Americans quickly in there and Contos picks it up, whips it around the boards and that goes all the way out of the zone. Going back for it for the USA is Oims. Oims turns, brings it right back up. The Americans using the defense a lot to carry the puck forward. No control at the blue line but that bounces and keeps in for the Americans. Eventually brought out by Contos who throws it up on the wing. Nedved working hard along the boards takes a push and a shove from Martin. Nedved giving as good as he gets out there. And Rolston eventually got it over to Imes. The Canadians with Nedved steal it right back. Snow was there to give it to Imes. Campbell breaking on the wing, but that comes right up the middle. A little tip pushes that away from Rolston, but he turns around and gets it. Astley is there on the far side. Contos. Coming up to the final five minutes of the game. Savage moves into the center position. Contos spun around, taken out of the play. And the Americans looking for that quick break are guilty of icing. That's not a bad play. Rolston and Sacco had been on the ice for a long time. They were desperate to get off. The puck going back into American territory, making it difficult. Both these guys needed a change. Less than five minutes now remaining on the game as both teams get set for the faceoff. Richter, or Richard, rather, muscles with Waugh. That comes only as far as the blue line. Waugh is in there on the red line. Waugh takes a hit, tries to pin that along the boards. Marchand is all over him like a baggy sweater. Hauer loves it down, but not out. Schreiber is there. Schreiber backhands it into the corner. Waugh. Wah again takes a little hit from behind. He really did receive a few blows in the corner. Johnson left it alone. Ferraro back to the blue line. The shot comes in. That hits a skate. Wah now breaks on the wing, but the Americans dump it right back in. They clear the zone to avoid the offside, and Warenka goes back for the Canadians. Warenka moves up, hits the red line. That'll do for him, and he flips it in. Hauer is back with Joseph. Moving up quickly, but the offside whistle blows. Time running out on the Americans. We'll keep our eyes on the American goaltender, Snow, to see if he comes out when the seconds tick down. Tim Taylor, if the score remains the same, will want to pull Snow if he can. As and when the Americans get the puck in the right position, marching up along the boards, and the Canadians getting back with Harlock. Harlock hit along the boards. Roberts doing a great job of forechecking for the Americans. The shot comes in. Campbell got a piece of that, and Hurst steered it away. Lilly couldn't bag that one down, and the chop in goes right up to the goaltender. Parks goes after it, and the Americans clear it away with Richter on one side. And the Americans breaking quickly. Hauer doing a great job of moving it up right through the circle. And Lilly was there to try and let the shot go. The Canadians now pick it up and drop it back to the blue line. Savage moving on one side. Coming in quickly. Lubson. The final three minutes of the game. The long pass is intercepted. Korea unable to move with it. That's batted away. And the Americans are not on that wing to pick it up. Coming back into the zone is Astley. He's happy just to dump it in. 
And the Americans will take this from their own circle on the far side of the rink. A long pass up the middle, Lazaro. Imes. Imes gets it again. No, he doesn't. It's taken off the play. Korea comes down on Martin. Korea will rag the puck, throws it along the boards, and the Canadians go for a skate, throw it right back in the zone. You know, the Canadian folks are happy to do this. They're killing off the final few minutes. Well, it's a good play. They just threw it right back in and went and got another line change. Lazaro moves in front as the Americans try to set it up. Lazaro, a give and go, and that just didn't work. A bouncing puck in front. Sacco continued on skating. The Canadians rattle the plexi and get it out of the zone. Schreiber coming down. Schreiber gets it right out front. Snow goes up. Whoa! There's one for the crowd. A great love save by Garth Snow. The Americans have got to start taking chances. Laviolette does that right at the blue line, trying to keep the puck in. Schreiber goes down the ice very quickly. The two-on-one situation. Schreiber with good patience, laying the puck over very nicely. The backhander going in. Snow with a great save. Parks in the face-off circle. Marchin is there too. And Parks will try to do what he did the other day, and that's get it over to Lushko. Lushko took the shot right from the face-off and hit the far corner of the net. Couldn't happen on this occasion as Crawley circles for the Americans. Two minutes remaining on the game. The Americans are running out of time. Keep your eye on the goaltender. Rolston already with two goals. Can he make it a hat trick? Pass up on the wing, LaViolette clips it up on the left side. The Americans now gaining in speed, picking up Ferraro, Rolston. Rolston is manhandled right on the hash marks, but the Americans keep it in. LaViolette lets the shot go, Lilly can't get to it. And the Canadians chop it out of the zone and down the ice. Icing is the call. LaViolette goes back and it's... Make your mind up time almost as Snow goes for a skate. He will watch Taylor. Let's look at this again. Snow all sprawled out, sprawled out on the play. The puck was in his glove. The Americans are going to have to press. They need a victory here more than the Canadians do. The Canadians have got two wins from two games. The Americans, two draws. And the shot came in and took a deflection. The Americans want to get in the top four. That's the key right now, winning off games. It's nice to be at the top of the table because you play the bottom of the next table. But no matter what happens, you want to be in the table. 12 teams in the competition, eight qualified to go into the medal round. One minute and two seconds on the game. Hirsch is there. Hirsch backhands it or forehands it off the boards. Lilly is there. The Americans being beaten to the puck in the Canadian zone. Canada with Schlegel back doing a great job flip it all the way down the ice and could this be the time that Snow comes out of the net he did the right thing to stay out of the way once again he came out of his goal left the puck alone icing is the call Tim Taylor got the glasses off and he wants a 30 second timeout to talk this over so, as you said, Bob, it's a 30-second timeout. The key, get possession of the puck right away, obviously. Big face-off coming up in the Canadian zone. Noah's on the bench. The Americans have an extra attacker. That goes into the corner. Warenka 
Whistles that to the far side and it goes out over the blue line and we have a whistle on the plate. Johansson, perhaps braver than most, goes over to the timekeeper's bench and indicates that there's a penalty on the play. A tough man, a brave man to call a penalty. At this stage of the game, there's the hook. Joseph goes into the penalty box. There'll now be a six on four if they elect to keep Garth Snow on the bench. 42 seconds remaining on the game. 3-2 the score, the Canadians struck first in this one with Norris and then Rolston came back with two and then Nedved on the power play and then Norris at the start of the third period made it three to two. We couldn't ask for a bigger and better finish. The Canadians with a man in the penalty box. The Americans have taken off their goaltender and thrown on an extra attacker and now they have two extra attackers. And Tim Taylor is not happy with the positioning of this faceoff. The incident occurred inside the zone. Bofe hits the red line, the Americans take it over. Working quickly in there is Chivaglia. Chivaglia throws it along to Marchant. Marchant all the way back to the blue line. They don't have a lot of time from close in. Hurts it, score! Whoa, big goal by the Americans. They set it up so nicely with a two-man advantage and it's 3-3. Taylor electing to keep the guys on the ice that are quick. Giovaglia and Martian getting the puck deep into the Canadian zone. Are they ever happy? And why not? Three games, three comebacks. This one isn't over yet. But they've got the tying goal. Todd Martian, number 23, keeping it low and putting the Americans on level terms with Canada. What a comeback for the Americans. They were angry about the positioning of that face-off. Nevertheless, the draw came their way. They took it over the blue line, took their time, and set it up. And if I ever had a better opportunity to throw my alma mater in here, Todd Martian is a Clarkson boy. I'm going to say that again, Paul, just to annoy you. Schlegel gets it over to Wesley. The clock ticking down. The Canadians get it out of the zone. A flip up the middle, and here comes Canada. Schreiber gloves it down. 12 seconds on the clock. A chance perhaps for one long shot. That's deflected away. It looks like neither team is going to get that shot. Lazaro tries to go in. The Canadians shoot it along the boards. And it's blocked down and knocked down in the corner. Hirsch is not happy. Perhaps he felt he should have stopped that when the pressure was coming his way. This guy has to be the hero of the day. He conceded a goal when the penalty shot was given to Nedved because he threw his stick he then blocked the penalty shot and came up with some key saves right at the end of the game excellent finish 3-3 score line you couldn't ask for a better finish the coach is saying well we'll see you again in about 10 days hopefully that means they'd like to play each other in the finals it's yet to be seen but a good competitive game excellent fast action three comebacks for the Americans well, we hope you enjoyed this one, because we certainly did. Until the next time, from Richard Beaupre and myself, Paul Ferguson, good night.